Hello, and thank you for watching this simple guide on how, for no cost, you can start to understand the businesses that are viewing your website and taking an interest in your products and services. My name's Darren, and I'm the head of agency here at We Are Digital. And the first thing I'd say with, with this guide is you need Google Analytics installed on your website. If you don't know whether you've got it or not, call your web developer up and ask them. If you want them to put it on for you, it should take them no more than 10, 15 minutes to do. If you're having problems with it, give us a call and we'll do it for you free of charge, no obligation. Um, get in touch via www.wearedigital.co.uk. We'd be more than happy to help you. So let's let's dive in. This is really, really simple, but the information's really, really powerful. So first of all, we need to go into what's called the network view. So if you click into your, your website and then type in network, click on that, you will then get to, to this view. Now I've narrowed it down to just one day, um, a, a typical day on the website. What I've purposely done is chose a day where we're not breaching any confidentialities with clients. So the stuff you see here, I'm not, I don't have any issue sharing with you. So you can see here, if we were doing it over a, a, a period of, of time, you would get your, your graph appearing. Now, what I'd recommend you do is, is do this on a regular basis. I spend five minutes at the start of every day, and at the end of the day, just reviewing the present day and the past day just to see what goes on. And what I'm looking for are companies that we'd like to work with, that we think we can add value to, um, that, that keep coming to the site. And through other tools on, on Google Analytics, you can start to drill down into some more information. But we're just going to keep to the very basic stuff for, for this guide. <clears throat> so let's get straight into it. If we scroll down the page, straight away you can start to see a list of the companies that are visiting us. Now, you will always have some people not set. We don't know where they've come from. And as we come down, you'll see things like ADSL Network, BSB, BT, Cisco Systems. Now, these are internet service providers. And because of the way I've got the report ordered, these are the, you know, this is this is the proper low value traffic that we don't really care about. However, if we start to look through the example we've got there is Acorn Recruitment. So we've got a real company there that's visited our website. And if we Google them, oh, I'll just block that, we can see it's a recruitment agency. So they're just sending us out to see if we want to take on new employees. And if you're a recruitment agency watching this, really sorry, but we don't use recruitment agencies. Um, so that's how we find out the companies. And we're checking every day. So we're starting to see that, that well, let, let's say in this case that, well, actually, we do really, really want to work with Acorn Recruitment. Nothing against them. Never met them. Never spoken to them. So let's not upset them inadvertently. Um, so we've spotted them coming back again. So we can start to use the, the these bits of information here. Uh, first of all, the acquisition. So how many times have they been on the website? Well, this time they've all been on the once. Uh, so it's a, a new session one new user, um, but you might see here that they've been on, like we see down here at BT, they've been on twice, they might have been on three times. So if you order by this metric and you compare this over a period of time, maybe a month, you can start to see how often companies have visited your website. Now I used this with an agency about three years ago. They came to our website every day for, for maybe three months. If it wasn't every day, it was certainly every other day. And we tried to call them up to find out why they kept coming to our website. Didn't get anywhere with them. Through persistence and seeing them keep coming back, eventually we got in to see the managing director of the business and they started to outsource work to us. So by by keeping on top of this, you can you can win business out of it. It's as simple as that. So we, we know how often and how frequently they've been to the website. The next one is the bounce rate. So you'll see these are all at 100% because I've ordered it by the least amount of time on our site. So all these people, we don't, they've only been on one page, so we don't know whether they've been looking at that page for five minutes, five hours. So it assumes they've not been looking at the page for very long. They've left straight away. Um, and that's why we're seeing pages per session, just the one. Um, the next column is conversions. Now, if you fill out the website forms that we've got, then we track a conversion. Now within these, and on this day, we didn't have any, so this is all blank. My suggestion would be, start to sort by the average duration with the longest first. These are the people that have probably viewed the most pages, but will always have a very low bounce rate, usually zero. These are the people that are going through your website and they're reading your content. And as I say, check it, two minutes in the morning, 
two minutes at the end of the day and you'll just start to get used to the people coming to your site and spot trends. And you can see on this one day, we recorded 51 different different companies that have been to the website. We'll keep on top of that. And eventually, we'll be able to turn that into, in, into custom that we win. So that's it. It's, it really is that simple. Good luck with it. If you've got any questions, give me a shout. Uh, you, can, you can tweet me. I'm at WebDarren. The other thing I'd suggest is have a look at things like ResponseTap and A1 WebStats. They do exactly the same, but they give you the company information. So rather than having to go away and Google Acorn Recruitment, they'll tell you who the company was. Um, so I just wait to finish by mentioning that. And that's it. So any questions or comments, tweet them to at WebDarren, leave them in the box below. And if you want to see other great tips and, and hints as we, we push them out on YouTube, click on the subscribe button. Thank you very much.